The word redeemed is a very important word in the Bible. It means to buy back. It's to bring something useful and purposeful out of a difficult situation. That's what it means. To redeem is to take things that have been messed up and bring some kind of order back to them again. Bring, take a mess and make a miracle out of it. That's what redemption is all about. So no matter what your life has been or what you've gone through in life, Jesus is willing and Jesus is able to redeem your brokenness and redeem your pain and redeem your mess. Jesus is able to bring meaning and usefulness to and through your life no matter what you've experienced in life. You say, well, Pastor, you don't know what I've gone through. You don't know my past. You don't know my history. You don't know what's happened to me. Certainly nothing good could ever come out of that. No, when it's dependent upon humanity, nothing good can come out of it. But when it's dependent upon divinity, great things can come out of it. Because God is the God who is our Redeemer. He is our Redeemer. David, the psalm writer, he understood this because David faced a lot of painful moments in his life. Study his history. He faced betrayals from his very own family. He faced hatred from King Saul, who tried to kill him. He faced his own failures. Obviously, we know that David had some failures in his life. David faced disappointments, but David learned something about God. And there was a day when David picked up a quill and a scroll, a parchment, and he began to write these words found in Psalm 103, verses 2 through 4. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Please read verse 4 with me together. Who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. Did you see that in Scripture? He redeems your life from the pit. Whatever that pit is, he redeems your life. And some of us have a pretty messy pit, don't we? Okay. See, he didn't say, I redeem your life from, well, as long as you didn't get in a pit. No, he says, I redeem, the Lord redeems your life from the pit. He doesn't define what that pit is. It can be a a nasty, messed up pit, but the Bible says that Jesus comes along to redeem us from the pit and crown us with love and compassion. I'm going to ask you to read this verse with me one more time, but I'm going to ask you to change one pronoun. Actually, it's two pronouns. I want you to read it this way. Who redeems my life from the pit and crowns me with love and compassion. Would you read it together with me that way? Who redeems my life from the pit and crowns me with love and compassion.